Hello sir, my name is Dhawal Pandu. I am from collegejunior.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series which is called Thoughts on Education where we interview with the BDS dignitaries such as owners, VCs, principals and HODs. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request you to give a brief impression about yourself, sir. Hello, my name is Dheeraj Singh and I am the Dean of Student Affairs at Sri Alatiwari College of Engineering. I look after all the co-curricular, extracurricular activities of uh, the students of this engineering college. Basically, I'm an engineer by an education. I've completed my uh, production engineering graduation from Mumbai University and I've uh, completed my MTech in mechanical engineering with uh, distinction and honors. I was uh, one of uh, topper of my batch as well. So <laughs> uh, with a good academic record as well as I, I was, a, a good player of cricket as well as a, I was a sprinter in my school days. So I know to be a successful person in life, you need not to focus only on education. Apart from education, there are so many other things in which you need to excel to get the better uh, uh, opportunities in the future. It was really nice knowing about you and your experience, sir. So my first question is, you held a key position at Education Institute throughout your professional career. So what keeps you connected with the education sector, sir? So uh, since I was a very good uh, student at the uh, education part, I, I'm, uh, uh, I got a distinction in my bachelor's and uh, I even I was a topper of my batch in uh, MTech program. So I know acad academics is a must part, but apart from academic, to be a successful engineer, uh, various other uh, areas are there in which you need to excel. Since I was a very good sprinter at my school and I was a uh, captain of my uh, college team uh, for cricket and Kho Kho, so I know uh, there is a very huge chance, a huge gap is there uh, between the student, they don't understand that apart from uh, technical knowledge, they require some other skills as well. So we promote them to uh, excel in the sports activities and this connected me very well with the student because not all the students are focused towards the academia uh, particularly. So uh, a few students have very good talent in uh, sports and cultural activities. So we supported them with uh, different different activities, different different committees for these activities. How do you strategize about the key program for the in institute administration? Uh, for administration part, uh, when we plan, uh, being the member of a governing body of this institute as well. So I know uh, institute cannot progress uh, without the success of student. So to make them aware of all the zones, all the type of uh, talent and uh, areas in which they can excel, we planned multiple activities, multiple committees we have under the uh, student welfare development cell that is headed by me. Uh, we have uh, 22 different committees. In these 22 different committees, we plan their activities, not only related with the sports and culture, but also with uh, with respect to the technical knowledge and areas which are, uh, which is to support the society like uh, we have NSSL, we have DLLE, we are the first engineering college has been zoned to uh, enroll for DLLE program of Mumbai University. DLLE is Department of Lifelong Learning and Extension in which we uh, the tagline is reached to the unreached. So we are supporting the society which is not uh, familiar with the programs which is uh, run by the government and we pro uh, help them, we try to support them by providing our services. Do you have any extra curriculum activity or program to enhance the skills of students? Yes, yes we do have, uh, we have multiple as I already told you there are 22 committees under SWDC. So all these committees are uh, actually focused towards their uh, holistic development so in this we have like uh, technical committees focused on co-curricular activities but cultural, sports, NSS, DLLE, UBA and there are so many other uh, committees are there which focus on their extension services as well. So extracurricular activities are also there. 
not just a co curricular activity so ye can you tell us some more things about uh, sports and like you know your recent achievements yes 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 this year uh, uh, we have participated in the uh, youth festival of mumbai university in which you are, our swimming team won uh, four medals our uh, uh, table tennis team uh, were in the final uh, final of zonal uh, areas as well in this year we have uh, won two uh, gold medal at national level uh, event uh, one was a grappling competition one was at the uh, mixed martial uh, martial art competition and we also have won a silver medal at a national level event of mixed mar- uh, martial art so uh, we have multiple achievements in this year and uh, also our uh, team participate in different uh, activities across the mumbai our team have represented at the th- uh, th- 13 different different events uh, at zonal le- uh, level and out of these 13 uh, institute uh, seven institute uh, we were the champion or the runner up in the events as well what would you like people to know about it should they may not know our institute uh, is very well known in the uh, zone of mira bhaindar but uh, apart from mira bhaindar when you go to uh, southern part of uh, mumbai uh, not very uh, people are aware that uh, we have an institute which is there from last 32 years so our uh, uh, the engineering college was established in the year of 2009 so uh, our uh, college of engineering is also there from last 14 15 years in, uh, in in this area and we have achieved uh, so many uh, different landmarks but people aren't aware like our management support us in the various uh, programs which uh, which is not there in all the institute if you consider other institute uh, in this zone uh, especially the engineering institute they mainly focus on the internship program the job opportunity created for the student but they don't consider the other opportunity our uh, management has started a sponsorship program for the co curricular and extra curricular activities the student those are participating in co curricular and extra curricular activities the charges the participation charges their traveling allowance and everything is uh, borne by them any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students yes uh, my students are actually uh, very much uh, active uh, in participating in many activities but uh, what i can see only 30 to 40% students are really interested in co curricular and extra curricular activities most of the student especially f- uh, from engineering background they consider only getting a good marks at examination and uh, securing a job at uh, placement cell is a uh, the complete thing but the picture is not just uh, securing a job by uh, placement cell but also there are so many areas you need to work for your hobby as well if your hobby becomes your area of uh, expertise then this is uh, the area in which you can excel like if you love the sports if you are uh, doing any technical thing related with the sports like one of our student is working for ea sports okay he he was in, interested in football so he do all the technical uh, help uh, support he provides technical support to ea sports so he enjoys his work so you can select a career in which you can not just work uh, uh, like a technical person you you can enjoy your work as well it was major talking to you and interviewing on thoughts on education sir thank you so much thank you